Welcome back, O'Doers. As I told you, you would see me again. Now you have an event, but an event can't exist without attendees. That's just a fact that every point in the process from online registration to actually attending the event, either virtually or in person, our company can create great experiences for our attendees and maximize our engagement with them. Thanks to the Odo Events app. Now checking in and following up with attendees is a critical part of the process. You want to make sure that we accurately and efficiently keep track of attendees. And how do we do that? Well, we do it even easier than ever before with Odoo. Now, not only that, but the Odoo events application makes everything seamless and simple for the attendees as well. We can even use simple backend automation, which is super easy to, you know, set up and just use. Now, thanks to Odoo and the easy to use user interface, everything is always simple. So... Enough chit chat, as I always say. Let's dive into our database to see just how easy it is to communicate and stay up to date with your attendees using Odo Events. All right. So here we are on our interior design template. Now, let's take a closer look at the communications tab that we have in here because there's something special we can do. This is where you'll find the various scheduled communications between your company and attendees leading up to an event. By default, Odoo already customizes and allows you to modify any of these to fit your company's needs. There's a few messages that we already have here, such as reminders for separate days immediately. We can even set up when people are notified. Now, let's see what our options look like if we created one of these from scratch. So in order to do so, you're probably asking me, Odooers, we actually just hit add a line and we get a few different options here. Now, this provides users with the opportunity to plan posts directly from the Odoo Events app if we end up selecting from over here in the send thing, a social post. Now, if we were to select an SMS, it would send people a text message or mail if we wanted to send an email. Now, in any case, I want to make a quick note actually about text messages. If you want to send an SMS, you actually need to have an in-app purchase account activated with the proper credentials and enough Odoo credits to send text messages. Be sure to keep that in mind. Sorry about that, Odooers. Back to where we were. Now, after we choose a communication medium, we'd simply have to create a message, and then we would adjust the interval and the time and the trigger fields. That's pretty simple, right? With this high level of efficient functionality, you can centralize the communication related to events without ever having to juggle a dozen different applications and platforms. Plus, it makes it easier than ever to get the word out about your events. And remember, the more visibility you get, the more the chances are that your event will be a success. And that's pretty useful. So we're going to create a new mailing while we're here. In our case, we're going to select mail. And we're already there, actually. So we're saving some time. If we click the template option below, you'll notice that we can choose from a list of pre-configured templates, or we can create one on the fly. But for the sake of this demo, let's choose one of our go-to templates and configure it so Oda will send it to our attendees immediately after they register. So which one do we want? In our case, we want another registration confirmation. And we want this to happen immediately. And when for the trigger, we're going to select after each registration. Now, as soon as there is a registration, one email with the event registration confirmation template message will be immediately sent to that attendee, which is super convenient. Now, for registration confirmation, I can only use the mail or the SMS option. Why? Well, because Oda will send it to each attendee's email and or phone number that they provided when they bought their event ticket. And as you can see, once we click out of that, it's automatically saved. And as you can also see, Odoo has a couple other event reminder communications scheduled to be sent out in the days leading up to the event that are already set up for us. And that's really convenient, Odooers. All right, what else do we want to talk about here? Well, let's talk about attendee. So if we click the attendee smart button, by default, Odoo shows us our attendees in a Kanban or a list view, depending on how you actually have it set up. And in our case, we had a list view. But let's set it to Kanban because I love those cards. Now, here we can actually quickly confirm their attendance by clicking on this check mark that we have right here. But only if the auto confirmation feature hasn't been activated. Now, when you do so, and I'm going to show you what happens. Give that a little second there. Load it up. You'll see there is now a mark as attending option right there and available. And isn't that really convenient? Now, if we open up the attendee by clicking on them, 
we can actually see a few different things. If we look at the chatter, we actually get to see a copy of the event registration confirmation email that we sent out earlier. And you'll notice that was sent immediately. That was triggered when we clicked confirm on this attendee. Now you'll also notice that this attendee status has been pushed from unconfirmed to confirmed. And isn't that perfect? Now, if you recall, I just mentioned the auto confirmation option. So let's go back to the event form using delicious breadcrumbs. And we need to activate that feature to see what it looks like in action. So we're going to go back over here and you'll notice it right there. We talked about it earlier in the last video. We'll select it and we'll manually save up here. Once that this is done, now for paid tickets, registrations are automatically confirmed. It should also be noted though that any attendees registered before the auto confirmation feature was turned on will still need to be confirmed manually. And also free tickets are always automatically confirmed no matter what, because they are what? They are free. All right, now let's jump back to our attendees page, just so that we can quickly create a new event registration to see how the auto confirmation works. So we're gonna click on the attendees smart button and we're gonna add, we're gonna create a sample person as an attendee here. And what are we gonna choose for a name? Well, we're gonna name them what I just said, sample person. Do we wanna give them any more information? I don't know, I don't think so. I don't think we either need it. But their event ticket, we do need to give them. We're gonna give them a basic one. And once that this is done, if we hit confirm, You'll notice they are automatically there, but that was also doing it manually. So if we actually go and create another sample person and we give them the VIP one for this stake, we go back to attendees via our breadcrumbs. You'll notice something very cool happens. Once that this loading screen is done, you'll notice they were also confirmed. I just wanted to show you both ways. And you'll see that the most recent registration has already been confirmed automatically. And that's thanks to what? Odoo's automation feature and auto confirmation features. Now, let's assume that I want to cancel a registration. We've registered someone. We need to cancel it. We could do that. It's also as simple as clicking over here onto cancel. We only want the VIP people here. Now, you'll notice Odoo removes it from the list entirely. If I wanted to view all of my registrations, even if they've been canceled, and actually just simply have to remove this filter up here or any filters that we have present. And then you'll notice that they are there now again. Now, we've seen everything that we have so far and everything looks pretty good, but let's assume that I want some data. I am on big data. If I ever want more in-depth information and data related to our events and attendees, all we actually have to do is either check out either of those pages that we have over here underneath reporting. In our case, let's select attendees. Now on the attendees reporting page, we'll find a wide variety of metrics and analytics related to all of our event attendees. Not only is this information incredibly useful, but Odoo also provides you with numerous ways to, you know, see this data and analyze it even further. Now in our case, let's assume that we want a different type of chart. We want to see a line chart. We got that. We want a pie chart, everything. And this all works out. Now, another thing that you can also do is you can also use filters to fine tune the report, like filtering, let's say to only do confirmed. And you'll see that the same methodology can be applied to the revenues reporting page as well. And there you have it, Odoers. Now, those are the essential basics when it comes to communicating with and keeping track of your attendees leading up to an event. Now, in the next lesson, we're going to discuss attendance by barcode because tickets have barcodes. So, Stay tuned. Have a great night.